Man, that sledgehammer is just wrecking. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go back up north, and we're going to um, put in an electric fence at our horde base. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use explosives on Horde Night 84 because I haven't had a chance to go mine nitrate in any quantity. Uh, we'll see what we have back up at the base. We'll probably be able to make a few, but not anything close to you know, being able to last the entire night. So what I'm going to do is I'm mostly going to go uh, melee. Uh, let's do our graphics thing here. And, um, you know, just kind of get through the night. I'm not looking for, like, mass XP or anything like that. I just want to survive it so I can get back down here and keep, you know, working on the house. Um, so let's see here. What are we going to do first? So we need to – I should be able to make all that kind of stuff because I'm maxed out engineering. Um, so let's take a look first. Uh, we want to make some fence posts. So that's going to be forged iron, electrical parts, electrical wires. And, oh, you know, the other thing we need to do too, is we need to rent some cars because I got plenty, I got tons of oil shell, but I don't have a way to, um, make the gas cause I don't have the gas cans. All right. So let's see, uh, first things first, let's go into our parts crate. Uh, we're going to need electrical, uh, I already got some switches too. Yeah. Well, let's grab those. We got some timer relays. We can use those as normal relays. So let's grab those as well. And let's see, we're also going to want, uh, we might need some mechanical parts. What do we need to make the Jenny? That's actually the first thing we should be looking at. Uh, so a generator bank is forged iron, uh, wires, and screws. So let's also get wires and screws out of here. And we'll grab some forged iron out of here. Shut up, zombos. Um, okay, uh, let's craft the generator bank. Let's deal with the Zeke. Now, I do have... Uh, I made quite a bit more progress on uh, the moat. Um, I want to keep them out of it, though, because it's not ready yet. Because uh, they just go down there and start banging on shit. Come on, dummies. Don't come down here when I'm up where you can get me. You guys are just as stupid as all get out. Especially you, big fatso. Okay, so let's just kill all these dudes first. Morning, Morning cluster, you know. Oh shit, I was gonna. Everybody come over here. We're just gonna kill y'all. You come here, and you come here, and you come here, and you come here. If I had a pipe bomb on me, I could kill all these guys in one, sh one shot. Stand up. Here, let's, um, man, we don't really need to eat or drink. I don't wanna waste my food if I don't have to. Oh, somebody dropped the bag. Nice. Okay, let's run back over here and just get some stamina back. Oops, he's coming in hot and fast. Let's see what's in this bag here. Okay. He ducked! He actually ducked! Unbelievable. killed all those dudes so uh what i've done in the moat as you can see is i've done the second layer of blocks all the way around upgraded to reinforce concrete because that's what's going to get hit the most uh so you know the moat is it's it's functional but it's not finished of course um and so i'm trying to keep the zombies out of it as much as possible until it does get finished uh so we're just you know need more resources more rebar that sort of thing uh but it's come along pretty good and uh, yeah, at least what the it, what it means now is I can't just get immediately attacked in the house uh, moving forward. But when the zombos do come in, you know I I have to make sure that I am I have to make sure that I get out here and kill them so that they don't you know do excessive damage to it until it's finished. Okay, finally got got the morning horde out of the way. Now, a couple things I want to show you. Um, I have a couple clips to show you off camera, so let's look at those next.
uh, I had a couple more skill points that I just took off camera. I put one of those into... Oh, let's see. What did I do with that? I put it into intellect uh, better barter. So we have maxed out better barter, which means we need to go check um, the traders because they all reset. Well, they don't reset, but they add more to their inventory when you take a point in better barter even before they have reset. And then let's see. The other point I put into Master Chef level two so we can now make vegetable stew in particular. And as you can see, I actually have a vegetable stew on my toolbar. Um, that's going to make, you know, things in the garden uh, easier for us because we have all the veggies and we don't have to find meat or other crap to make it. And the recipe for that is just the normal, uh, you know, vanilla recipe. It's not changed in any... Well, no, that's not true. I guess we do have to add the tomatoes, onions, cabbage, and carrots, but that's not a big deal because we have equal amounts of all of that stuff. Um, so, yeah, very cool. What else can we make with that? By the way, it was I mostly did it for the veggies, too. But if we look at, let's see, we can also make um, steak and potatoes, sushi, fish soup, meat stew, vegetable stew, blueberry pie, and several pumpkin dishes and cook 20% faster. Nice. You know, the other thing I was thinking about, too, is we could actually put a, a wood-burning stove in here. Keep in mind, again, guys, as usual, I'm way ahead of you. I am going to be out of town again, though, in uh, the third week in October for a week. Uh, so here again, uh, trying to get uh, get ahead of you far enough to keep you guys in the videos uh, even while I'm gone. But just remember that for the comments. So if you guys tell me something in the comments and it appears like I'm ignoring it, it's probably because I haven't seen it yet. Okay, anyway, let's get back to this. So stove, uh, I think we can make the wood stove and use it uh, for the same purpose as the survival campfire uh, so we just need two short iron pipes and we already got all the rest of the stuff in our inventory so let's see do we have some pipes in here we sure enough do we probably have to make that in here wood burning stove we'll craft that just because we can okay we got our Jenny bank we're going to need some fence posts for what I have in mind I'm probably only going to do one fence post but let's let's make four anyways just in case it works out to where I can do two. Uh, we're going to need for the generator, we're going to need some engines. Um, but we don't need a lot. Uh, two should be more than sufficient. In fact, we, we, I'm sure we could get away with even just one. But let's just grab two anyway uh, for the Jenny. Uh, we could even possibly do a battery bank instead. But I think we'll just do the generator. It's easier. Uh, the only thing that's going to make that a bit of a pain in the butt is the gas. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so we're just waiting on this stuff to finish. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is wait for this to finish, and then I will meet you uh, back up at our horde base, way back up here, and we'll get things set up so we're ready for horde night. And then uh, we still have another day, but I just wanted to get this done now, and I still have some more stuff to haul back here too. So essentially I'll bring you back with an update at some point in time. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, we got a screamer down in the moat here. I want to try and take her out before she screams if we can. Gotta get a little closer. We just can't let her scream. Okay, she's dead. All right, I grabbed all the stuff in my uh, cell box. Uh, let's stop off at Trader Gin, check her inventory, and sell that stuff before we head up north. Oh, I guess Trader Rex in this town. Okay, that's fine. We have some other things that we need to sell him to, but I don't want to spend a lot of time on that now. My my highest priorities right now are to finish the moat, the defenses, and get the garden back up and running. And then after that, you know, then we can start getting back to you know POIs and doing quests and having the funds, get the fun stuff. But we got to get those things done first. Man, that sledgehammer is just wrecking. Love it. Okay, uh, we got another one. Come here, dummy. Can we 
get in here without aggroing him. I just don't want him to wreck the trader is all. Let's look in here. Uh, that would be good, and actually so would the Rockbuster. So let's grab those on the way back out. Oh, you freaking zombie. Screw you. I don't care. Break Rex's place. Rex's place. Have we already looted this stuff? Yeah. Okay, let's sell him some stuff here. So we're going to sell him all these schematics. I think that's all we're going to sell him. All right, let's take a look at his secret stash. Ooh, night vision goggles. Those are good. He restocks on 85. All right, now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. So if we were going to come and uh, get those, we have to do it before the horde night. Okay, what else you got, man? So you got that. You've got... Ranger's Guide Archery to Archery. 20% greater chance of knocking down the target. That would be a good one to get. How much money do we have? I got all the money in the car. Alright, let's look at his normal stash. Oh shit! You're not dead. Now you are. I just don't have time to deal with these guys, man. Okay, let's look at the normal stash here. Gunpowder. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. That's all the no stuff we sold. Deal's done. Now, okay, let's get the, um, I want to get the uh, eye candy and the rock busters from here. Okay, so we got 17,000 coins, so we're slowly building our, our money back up. And we'll keep that stuff in there. All right, let's head up north. Okay, let's stop and see what uh, Trader Bob has in his inventory. I'm going to grab the coin out of here. Oh, shit, we hit our four by. Uh, let's put this, 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 and this in there. That we need to actually sell. We'll check the vending machine, too. I uh, don't really want any of that stuff. Okay, let's sell this to you. And then let's look at your secret stash. Motorcycle chassis, solar cell, rocket, ammo, frag. What is this? Craft HP, nah. Great highs do 10% more damage to safes. Useful, but not a super high priority. And he's got night visions, too. You know, I'm going to buy those, I think. Let's just wait and see what else he has first before we commit to that. Blade trap, iron darts, pump. She's got a yellow pump, but I'm kind of liking my green auto shotgun. All right, let's look at his normal stash. All right, nothing really super fantastic. So let's go ahead and buy the night vision goggles because we're going to want them for later, even if we don't strictly need them right now. And um, let's sell this to him. Didn't I... Did I just sell him the wrong thing? I don't know. Whatever. Whatevs. All right. So let's head on over here now. Our land claim block 
in here is defunct, so we're gonna have to fight off some sleepies, but that's okay, we can handle them. Watch watch us get a bunch of glowers in here now. We got a, a feral here. Two ferals. Oh man, we got infected in a sprained arm. Over here, dummy. I don't want to shoot at my four by. Get away from my four by. I'm having trouble attacking because of my sprained wrist. Well, here, let's not make it worse. Okay. You too? Hey, we got a skill point. Nice. Get away from my 4 by. How many sleepers are in that place? Goodness. I actually have uh, some honey over here in our mini bike, which I should be placing in there. I think this is just a sprain. Will it let me? Yeah, it doesn't let me use it. Okay. Now, as long as we continue to use this place as a horde base, I need to also make sure we have a, some supplies up here, like for repairing. So I brought some of that with me, and I'll probably end up leaving um, a lot of it just uh, up here, you know, so it's here for us. All right. Now, uh, are we clear in here? Clear in that room. Okay, yeah, this floor is clear. Um, we might have to fight some up above, though, so let's do that first. Okay, let's get them all rounded up here. Everybody wake up. Wake up, little Susies. All right. Oh, shit. Ah. That it? All right, so that takes care of those yahoos. And I'm not worried about the the top floor. <clears throat> okay, so what I want to have happen here is I want there to be, here we need to actually go the other direction. Let's get, whoops, let's get back up here. Okay, so I want to put a fence uh, sticking out here. So I'm just going to mark that block, and if we decide to do four, we'll put one there. Now, the thing about this, though, is we're going to have to be able to get to these fences to repair them um, if we want them to run all night. Um, which means 
that we either have to figure out a way to get to them from the outside or um or you know from within but if we do it from within i'm gonna have to break these blocks all the way out which i kind of don't want to do okay so we've marked those those are going to be um they're going to be right up on the ceiling in here so they're going to be over here I think. Hard to say. Let's mark this one up a little bit more. Oh yeah, it should be the last reinforced concrete block, right? So it should be this one here. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? I'm a little confused. Okay, hold on a sec. Oh, right, it's behind these angled jobs. Oh, okay, that's what's going on. Um, okay. Just trying to think about this for a second. So if we... Let's, let's do this differently. I, I want to make sure I'm doing it correctly, right? So... Basically, we need to go from here, one, so we need to go two and three blocks in from the edge. So it's these two, but up one. All right, let's try something here. Let's try something here. If we get our axe... And we bust this out here. And this out here. Okay, what's above that? Okay. Um... Let's do the same thing on this side. So we want to go two blocks two and three in. So this one and then the next one. Oh no, not there, not there, here. Okay. Now, um, let's go back this way, and we're going to hop up, back up here. Gotcha. Okay, so this is where everything is. So what we could do is... We could hop up here and just do a quick repair. From right here. Okay, I think this is going to work. All right, a minute. What the hell? Oh, right here. Yeah, okay. I was getting confused there for a second. Now, we want then the fence post to attach to the bottom of these. Just have to think about this for a second. Um, but we have to leave this open. So the way to do that... I think is is that we put a center aligned pole. So this here and we turn it. Yeah, no, we put it just like this. So that way we can still reach in there and get to the fence posts to repair them. 
And I'll, of course, get those upgraded. Unless there's a way we can do that from in here, but I'd have to punch a hole out here, which I kind of don't want it. Well, that might not, that might not, that might work okay. Little, 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 little. Okay, here, let's go get the post and lay them down next. I'm making this up as I go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm making this up as I go. All right, so we want to grab our fence posts. Uh, no, those aren't our fence posts. Those are our switches. Fence posts are right here. Uh, let's grab the concrete, the wood, that, this, 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 this. And I don't think we need anything else in here for the moment. All right, so we're going to come along over here now, and we're going to put... posts here because it's going to stick down um, I have to think about this for a second right yes yes okay and then we'll do the same thing here now, these will be the posts that we'll attach to, and we'll run to the posts on this side, which means these are the ones that we have to keep repaired, assuming it works the same as it does in vanilla. All right, cool. So now let's get back up here for a second. So we're going to put, let's put the Jenny right here. No, let's put it, let's put it over here. Okay. Now we're going to put a relay here. Can't get up that way, can I? We might uh, think about doing that at some point. Uh, putting a ladder on that side is what I'm... Oh, oh, come on. Get up there. It's hard to get across here because of this block. All right, looks like we can't do that. So I, I might need to change that too, especially if we end up, you know, coming up here. I guess I can go around, but I, I want it to be, you know, quick and easy. Here we go. Okay, now we're going to attach to both of those fence posts. We could probably just run. Oh, shit. You know what I didn't bring is my wiring tool. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe I forgot my wiring tool. Well, I can. I can believe it. I can believe it. Son of a gun. All right. Well, shit. All right. Well, I'm going to have to go back and get it, right? But the idea is that we... We run a wire to, to this relay, and then this relay is going to go to here and here. I'm just going to run them straight across, and then those will go across to the other side, okay? Now, so what I want to see here is, is there a way that I can make an opening from inside my cage here so I can very easily and quickly get to these to repair them without compromising our setup? Um... And I don't know the answer to that. So let's see here. It's going to have to be... Um, yeah, that's messing me up. Can I duck and get down here? What would happen if we busted out... This block and the one below it? Okay, so we can see that fence post there. Um, if we take this one out, can we see the other one? It'll be so much more convenient and safer if we can just repair everything from right down here and not have to run up there. Yep, there it is, right there. Cool. So we should be able to get to that post. Um... Let's just confirm. So what I'm going to do is go up here. Go 
back here. Uh, we can't fall through there, can we? Okay, we're going to have to go down this way. I'm going to fix all this stuff, too. All right, I think I can... Here, let's hit it with this. I just want to give damage it a little bit. Like that. Okay, so if I have a block, uh, where's my wood? Where's my wood frames? Did I put them in the, oh, they're right here. They're just in pole format. I was going to say, what the heck, man? All right, so if I had a block in here, that's going to make it really hard to see the other one unless we make it an angle like so. We're going to have to flip it the other way, aren't we? All right. No, not that. What does it do on face? There we go. Okay. So that's, um. I mean, that leaves us kind of vulnerable down here unless I do something a little bit different. But the important thing is I can get here... And I can repair repair that. I've got electrical parts in the Jeep. So I can repair these just by ducking down. Uh, oh, you know what might actually work better? If we do this the opposite. If we put it... Yeah, we could actually do that, I guess. And I can still get through there. I'm just trying to, I can maybe put a plate on here. I'm just trying to keep zombies from seeing me and then, and in the case of cops, spinning up at me through this little slot here. If I had a block in there, can I still reach these? Yeah, I still can, just barely. That's kind of a pain in the ass, though. Okay, well, I'll figure this out. Anyway, that should give you guys the idea of what I'm uh, planning on doing uh, for the Horde Night. So what I'm going to have to do, of course, is go all the way back home and get a freaking uh, um, wiring tool and come all the way back here <laughs> to get this wired up. But that's going to run a, a low wire across here. It's going to hit all the Zeeks in the leg, but I, I wanted to run it low so it also hits dogs and spiders too. Because, um, of course, we get a bunch of those coming up here. All right. So, oh, you know what? Actually, I know what we'll do here, guys. I know what we'll do. We'll just put some hatches in. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just put some hatches in, and then, you know, we just open them to repair and then close them, and then the Zeeks can't see us, well, presumably can't see us through the hatch. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, so we figured that one out. Uh, all right. So I am going to, yeah, probably just run back home, get the wiring tool, uh, I need to wrench a bunch of cars, you know, for gasoline. So, that, you know, that, that I'm going to be doing that too. I'll come back here, get everything repaired and spiffed up, get it all wired. And then uh, we should be ready for 84. I'm not entirely sure when I'm going to bring you back. Um, if all goes well, hopefully, uh, you know, maybe we'll have, well, I shouldn't say hopefully, but it just, it is what it is, right? Uh, but we should have an episode. Maybe we'll have one more episode before the Horde Night. Maybe we won't. It just depends upon, you know, how things go. Okay. So guys, that is it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.